What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm bringing you a video that I probably, or at least arguably, should have done quite a while ago, but as they say, better late than never. Now, if you've watched the rest of my Espresso Anatomy series, I've covered a lot of different espresso recipes, like the Notorious Ristretto, the Elusive Single Shot, and the Illustrious Lungo. So it seems only right that I would cover just the standard shot of espresso, which goes by quite a few different names. A lot of people call it just a double shot, some people call it a normale, and if you're feeling fancy, a dopio. If you wanna be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. This humble little coffee beverage is not only amazing on its own, but it's also the base ingredient for so many of the world's coffee beverages, like the latte, cortado, cappuccino, flat white, and many, many more. And if you're watching this video, it's safe to assume you've probably already read articles, watched other videos, or done more research on espresso recipes, and realize it's absolutely possible to split hairs or completely oversimplify. But what I'm going to try to do in this video is kind of split it right down the middle when it comes to the standard double shot. Unlike many of the other espresso shot types out there, there isn't a lot of heated debate behind just the standard double. But there are two different schools of thought modern and traditional. Traditionally, a double espresso is a 14 gram dose of coffee with a 60 milliliter yield volume. In modern espresso culture, a double shot is based on a one to two ratio, so the yield will vary based on your dose. The relatively recent introduction of brew ratios and scales into espresso preparation has really changed up the dial in game and has really increased and leveled up consistency and repeatability. Where volume on the other hand really isn't a reliable way to measure an espresso yield because the liquid weight and the crema depth will cause variations in your shot volume, so variables like freshness and roast will completely change your shot. But both styles still do meet in the middle when it comes to extraction time, with the 25 to 30 second range being the average timeline. Even though explaining the differences between the traditional and the modern double shot really highlight how truly distinct they are, I think seeing and tasting them side by side will provide even more contrast. For the traditional double shot, I've switched to a 14 gram basket and dose and dialed in for a 60 milliliter yield in about 25 to 30 seconds. In modern terms, this is running roughly a 1 to 4 ratio, which is what we currently consider in specialty coffee a lungo shot. But when you actually measure the yield with volume, the true shot could actually be anywhere between 50 to 20 grams depending on the coffee's roast level and its overall freshness. A lighter roasted and less fresh coffee will have more actual liquid taking up the volume of the shot leading to the potential of more clarity and less acidity, but also a high chance of overextraction and tasting just plain watery. A darker, more traditional roast will likely have dramatically less volume taken up by liquid and more dense crema, leading to the likelihood of under-extraction, producing intense sourness, and in some cases, even some saltiness. The modern double shot of espresso, on the other hand, is primarily focused on balance above all else. So in this case, the double will be pulled on a 17 gram basket and dose and dialed in for 34 grams out in 25 to 30 seconds. As I mentioned, brew ratios have been widely adopted for espresso preparation, so keeping the yield at or close to double your coffee dose means ideally you should get a little of everything. Acidity, clarity, texture, sweetness, and bitterness. The focus on balance in a modern double shot is so it can be applied to a broader spectrum of coffee roasts and flavor profiles and still be a tasty little treat. Which is why the standard double has become not only the base of so many classic coffee drinks, but also why the double espresso has become the cornerstone of so many cafe menus around the world. Like I mentioned early on in the video, the recipes for the double, the dopio, the normale, or whatever you want to call it, aren't buried in heated debates. It seems today in current specialty coffee culture, we've mostly all adopted brew ratios, at the very least as a solid starting point. Personally, I run a pretty basic 1 to 2 ratio on most of my coffees when making espresso, and just make small adjustments as I go, usually starting with grind and brew temperature before making any adjustments on the yield. Considering the inaccurate nature of the traditional recipe, it really makes sense that the term godshot took off in early espresso circles because so much of what was happening, namely the dose and the yield, was more or less random so getting a super tasty shot was like an act of god. Now it's rare in these videos that I give a very definitive, this is better than that statement, because coffee in general is a very preference based experience. But in the case of the traditional versus the modern double, it's hard to see the benefits of a volume based pull. 
The use of brew ratios in modern espresso definitely isn't perfect, and it can absolutely be oversimplified and miss some of the nuances. But using weight over volume is and always will be more accurate and repeatable, which in espresso is key to success. But that's not to say I don't enjoy a scaleless pull from time to time. I mean, who doesn't enjoy a little espresso roulette? Anyway, I think that's all I've got to say on this one. Let me know your thoughts on the double shot, brew ratios, weight versus volume, and any other coffee nonsense you want to talk about down in the comment section below. And of course, I'll see y'all again next week. And of course, a big thank you to my March Patreon supporters, ads, Jacob P, David W, Christopher, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Obo, Andre, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Mika, Samantha, Bound Coffee, Claire, Stephen, James K, Josh, Andrew Horrison, Corey C, Curry, Jeff Roth, Joey N, Thomas B, UK Espresso, Tim, Jason C, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Home Barista Coach, Testing123, Jerry, Matt, Zach Revy, Tyler F, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Chris M, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Brandon B, Tyler M, Sebastian, Matthew C, JRC, Absolute, Stephen G, Alex T and offensive and of course a big thank you to the barista and barback tiers if you want any information on my patreon there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now and of course a big thank you to you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that little bell for notifications of new videos posted every friday follow my instagram at spermetheus for content throughout the week my blog at spermetheus.com my coffee at littlegiant.coffee and as always stay caffeinated pony boy <laughs>